Possessive adjectives agreement in French. We already have a lesson about the possessive adjective, but in this lesson we are going to focus on the agreement in French between the words. Well, of course, you know that in English, these adjectives are my, your, his, her, our, your, their. And in French, we've got mon ton son, notre, votre, leur, and ma tassa, notre, votre, leur. We used to say that Montonson are masculine and Matassa are feminine. But it's not really the case, actually, and we are going to see the complete rule. But first, let's see how works this agreement first in English. When we have bulk, for example, and the belonger is a male, so of course we are going to say his book. The reason is because the agreement is between the adjective his and the person. So his, a male. The same reason for a female, we will say her book. Well, in French, the agreement is different, because this agreement does not depend on the person, but on the following word. For example, book is livre in French, livre is masculine, so we will say son livre. Son, because the following word is masculine. The same thing with a female, actually, we don't really mind, so we will also say son livre, because livre is, again, masculine. So the agreement is with the following word. Let's see now the rule. Son livre, so we say that we use son, because the book, or livre in French, is masculine. And we could say mon livre, ton livre, son livre. We also say, and this is the second part of the rule, son école. But here, école is feminine in French for school. We say une école. So why actually do we use son here? Because this feminine word starts with a voyel. For this reason, we say mon, ton, son, école. There is a third part for this rule. We also use mon ton son when we have a feminine word starting with a plugged H, a connected word H, when we have to, to make actually the liaison between the two words, son huile. Huile is for oil. So here, because of this H or mute H, if you want, we also use mon ton son. So we've got three parts for this rule, using Montonson. First, with masculine words, okay, all masculine words, but also with some feminine words when they start with a voile or with what we call a plugged H when you've got a liaison between words. Let's see now when to use ma, ta, sa. So the rule is the same, we use sa when the following words is Feminine, because the agreement is between the, these two words, sa, voiture, feminine. But here we use sa, because voiture starts with a consonant. This is the first part of the rule. We use ma, ta, sa, with feminine words starting with a consonant. Ma voiture, ta voiture, sa voiture. We also use ma, ta, sa, when the feminine word starts with, this time, a unplugged H. There is no connection between the two words and when you pronounce them you need a pause sa ash. For this reason, and this is the second part of the rule, we use ma ta sa. You must know that there is no rule actually to know when in French a uh, word starts with a mute or uh, unplugged H. You need to know by to know them by heart. So let's resume this part of the rule with matasa, we use these three words with feminine words, but when they start with a consonant or with an unplugged H. So let's resume now when to use first mon ton son with all masculine words, but also with feminine words when they start with a voil or with a plugged H. And we use matasa with feminine words when they start with a consonant or an unplugged H. These are the rules, actually, 
to use Montanson Matassa for the adjectives, the possessive adjectives in French. So as you can see, Montanson is not always for masculine words. Here the rule, I hope now it will be easier for you to understand how to translate my, your, his, her into French. Thank you very much for following this uh, video with me. C'est fini. See you next time on FrenchSpanishOnline.com. Au revoir.